uh, talking about later in the show. Anyway, and go ahead. Absolutely, will now that we're on follows. But first, it's got to be all your Bengals, especially the passing game. T. Higgins, Tyler Boyd. That's that, that's the story of this week. I mean, we kind of probably should have mentioned it. And prayers up to Burrow. An unbelievable rookie season cut short. He was leading the league in pass attempts. Was on pace to break all the passing yardage records. Maybe touchdown. I mean, the guy was having a historic rookie season, looking like the real deal, looking like he's ready to help this franchise turn it around. You hate to see him go down like that. Painful look at injury. Uh, so prayers up to have speedy recovery for him and then all his fantasy prospects around him. Clearly going to fall when you go on the Ryan Finley fucking ship. Like, come on. Ryan, this, big game Finley? Yeah. Dud, what are you dud. talking about? Big game Finley, yeah. I'm pretty sure A.J. Green had a touchdown. Speaking of speaking of corpses, A.J. Green's touchdown is worth noting also. Yeah, fucking A.J. Green. And we were speaking of corpses. <laughs> yeah, that is a corpse of all corpses right there. <laughs> Another down for me, Alvin Kamara. You said it earlier. One target, zero catches. First time he's ever not had a catch in a game in his professional career. I hope this is not a sign of things to come in Taysom's world. It's certainly not what I expected. I thought it was going to be a lot of dinks and dunks make it easy, but those dinks and dunks came to Mike Thomas, the slant machine. Uh, And Alvin Kamara was forgotten as a receiver, which I don't know how Sean Payton would ever do. Hopefully that gets rectified and fixed. Um, But that is definitely a concern to see and Taysom Hill's first game as a starter. I know you want to talk about these guys. <laughs> well, I mean, we've already talked about Marquise Brown, yeah. and there's not really much else to say. I, there was a great comment. I don't want to step on his toes because we're going to talk it uh, before. I think Mike Clay said Hollywood is a Walmart shopping cart wheel. They don't oil or fix it. They just throw it the fuck out. I added, <laughs> I added the fuck in there, but he said throw it yeah. out. I thought that was an apt description. As far as Lamar goes, I mean, let's look at the Ravens. They looked so dominant. Then they lost to the Patriots. I mean, who saw that coming? I sure as hell didn't. And then yeah. the Titans could not be have looked more vulnerable coming into this game, and, and yeah. they they blasted them. And you know it was similar. They got they got run on hard. You know, like I mean, we were watching Damian Harris just run the fuck over the Ravens, and of course everyone's like, "Oh, watch out for Derrick Henry." And I was like, "Ah, come on, they'll they'll bear in," and they didn't. And and uh, Jackson did not get it done. He he had a decent game with Mark Andrews, and other than that, man, as far as busts this season as uh, if you take guys that were not shelved by injuries for, you know, Saquon Barkley's or McCaffrey or Mike Thomas, even, I think Lamar Jackson's the most disappointing fantasy player of the entire year. I really do. He's, he's got to be up there. You know, the weight on quarterback crew gains one with how bad he has looked, especially because a lot of people passing up on Mahomes. If you were going to go quarterback early because of the upside of Lamar Jackson year two, they're going to take off. Yeah, nope, he was that a year two? Pick. yeah. A safe. Exactly. The floor is so high. The- ceilings even higher and now the year has been figured out they're calling the plays at the line of scrimmage it's done this offense is not whatever it will never hit the levels that it was Lamar will never sniff another MVP in my opinion um and fantasy wise it's it's just a ho-hum run heavy kind of gross attack that has some sexy luster to it for no deserved reasons and just, I had to put uh, real quick yeah. Uh, well, I'll, I'll, real quick comp. Kyler Murray has either 10 or 11 rushing touchdowns. I'm not sure what that number is. Uh, for everybody that was so hyped on Lamar and his running last year, which they should have been, Lamar has the same number in last year and this year combined that Kyler wow. Murray has so far. So yeah. just put I, that I in your fucking cr- pipe and smoke it. Crazy stats about how, like, at these games through this season compared to Lamar Jackson last year, Kyler Murray's outscoring last year's Lamar Jackson by, like, 70 points or something insane. Yeah. Like. He's having the most ridiculous of seasons. Like ever. ever seen. Anyway, um, Duke Johnson. Guy on. Yeah, he's a bitch. Duke Johnson remains a bitch. Smells like a bitch, runs like a bitch. He is a bitch. And we called this. We told everybody out there asking us about Duke Johnson. But now I want to just make sure it is very clear to everybody, as is this guy, Carson fucking Wentz. Oh, my just, God. He sucks. So he I, sucks. I texted my buddy in Philadelphia when he threw that just duck, uh, terrible, whatever. I don't even know what you would call that pass that got intercepted kind of oh. near their own, uh, near their end zone. I texted him. I said, I wonder how much better of a passer Carson Wentz is than me. Like, I know he's better, but I mean, I, is he like a lot, lot, lot better? Like, it, you know, if like if, if I, I had a buddy who played quarterback in high school and he, he pitched, uh, he was a pitcher in college. I wonder if he can pass as well as Carson Wentz. What do you think? I don't, he certainly doesn't show anything special that you couldn't sign off the side of the street from the dude walking his dog right now. Like, no, he's a, he's a joke. This offense is going to all go down under shit. So I'm sure we saw Dallas Goddard have a day. We'll see random people pop up here and there because of how bad they are, how bad they're going to get behind. But yeah, 
Carson Wentz blows. I don't really want to ever start Rager again, even though he squeaked out seven. Like, it was a yeah. gross, scary performance. Gross. For sure. What is up, you fantasy wolf? Thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, share your thoughts in the comments, check out some more videos, and join the newest Wolfpack by subscribing below.